The term Alzheimer's disease has been used for over 100 years. In 1906, German doctor Alois Alzheimer observed and documented severe neurological changes, including memory loss, erratic behavior, and difficulty speaking in Auguste de Tur, one of his patients. It was significant to Dr. Alzheimer that Ms. de Tur was not an elderly woman when she developed these changes because they did not appear as age-related. After the patient passed away, he examined her brain and found tangled fibers and clumps, which we know today as tau tangles and amyloid plaques. He presented his research at the 37th Annual Conference of German Psychiatrists, though he was met with limited enthusiasm from his peers at the time. By 1909, Dr. Alzheimer found and reported on several patients who exhibited this pre-senile memory loss condition, and in 1910, Dr. Emil Kreppelin, a mentor physician for Dr. Alzheimer, gave public credit to Dr. Alzheimer by naming the condition and disease, Alzheimer's, in his famous psychiatry textbook. By the late 1960s, British psychiatrist Tomlinson and Roth identified the importance of amyloid plaques in older adults, and in 1970, Roth challenged the meaningfulness of an age barrier for specificity of Alzheimer's diagnosis. In 1976, neurologist Robert Katzman asserted that we disregard the age criterion that separated senile and pre-senile dementia of the Alzheimer's type. Thus, by the early 1980s, Alzheimer's was recognized as the most common form of dementia. There was a surge in scientific research and interest in scientific studies on Alzheimer's during the 1970s and 1980s. In the late 1970s, scientists came up with a cholinergic hypothesis. This hypothesis linked Alzheimer's symptoms with a deficit of neurotransmitter acetylcholine. Acetylcholine's main function is to act as a messenger for proper memory function. This theory promoted the testing of medications and therapeutics that increased levels of acetylcholine, and the FDA approved cholinesterase inhibitors, which serve as symptom alleviators but do not modify the disease. In 1984, beta amyloid protein was found in blood vessels of Down syndrome patients in addition to Alzheimer's patients, which made chromosome 21 a possible pinpoint for the onset of Alzheimer's. In the early 1990s, the finding that mutations initiated the excessive production of beta amyloid with Alzheimer's led to the amyloid cascade hypothesis, a theory that Alzheimer's results with the accumulation of beta amyloid plaques. In 2011, Alzheimer's was no longer considered a clinical symptom of dementia, but instead understood as a pathological process that develops into a clinical disease. In 2021, the FDA approved aducanumab, a drug that is not a cure for Alzheimer's, but may slow the progression of the disease. For over 40 years, Karen Kind has been working to support people with Alzheimer's and their caregivers with comprehensive support, advocacy, and fundraising for research. To help support Caring Kind, please donate from their website, caringkindnewyorkcity.org.